Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to be solving the lead code question missing number. Alright, so in this question, we're going to be given an array nums containing n distinct numbers in the range 0 to n. Return the only number in the range that is missing from the array. And we want to do this in uh, big O of 1 extra space, so constant space, and big O of n runtime. Alright, so in this case, um, the nums we have are 3, 0, and 1. Now the first thing that we want to identify is what is going to be the range of this. So the range of this is going to be the n value here. And we can get the n value by just finding the length of nums. So the length of nums is 3, and that means the range is 0 to 3. And when you have square brackets, that means the two numbers on the ending are also included in the range. So that means we're supposed to have the numbers 0, 1, 2, and 3. But in this case, we only have the numbers 0, 1, and 3. The missing number is 2. So in this case, we're going to end up outputting 2. Okay, so let's just look at one more example real quickly. So we have 0, and comma 1. And in this case, we have two numbers, but we're actually supposed to have 3, uh, which are supposed to be in the range. So 1 is missing. And in this case, what is the end value? The end value is going to be 2, because the length of this is 2. So we're supposed to have 0, 1, and 2, but we only have 0 and 1. The missing number is 2. Pretty simple. So let's see how we can actually solve this question. So what one thing you can try to uh, notice is that this over here is an arithmetic series. So what I mean by that is let's say we have this range of 0, 4. That's the range that we're given. So what are the numbers that fall under this? So the numbers that we have are 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. Okay. So these are the numbers that we're supposed to have. And this over here is a total of 5 numbers. One, uh, one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, so we know that it's five, and how do we know it's an arithmetic series? Now, the reason we know it's an arithmetic series is because the difference between these two, the, the two consecutive numbers, is always the same. And in this case, the difference is always one. So that means that we do have a arithmetic series. And in order to just find the sum of all the elements in this series, we can directly use a formula, uh, which is already there, and it's pretty famously used, okay? So one thing you want to notice over here is we're going to have a n value over here, and please do not confuse this with the n value in the question. So in the question, the 4 was actually the n, but for now, we're just going to assume as n uh, is going to be the length of the range. So in this case, the length is 5, okay? So the n in this case, in our definition, is going to be 5. So uh, the way this uh, works is Sn, which is the sum of this arithmetic series, is going to be equal to n by 2 multiplied by 2a plus n minus 1 into d. So let's just go through what all of these mean. So this is the sum of the arithmetic series equal to n, and like I said, it's the length of the number of elements in the series divided by 2 into 2a. So what is the a? So the a over here corresponds to the first element in the series. Now, in this case, the first element is always going to be equal to zero because we know for a fact that our series is going to start from zero to whatever value it is, right? So we know that the first element is going to be zero. So we can just substitute that for a. And when you do two into zero, you end up with zero. So let's just rewrite this. So Sn is equal to n by two and two a is nothing else but just zero. And now we have plus n minus 1, so that's just going to stay as it is. And now we have something called d. So d over here is the difference, okay? And like I said earlier, the difference between the two elements are always going to be the same. And in this case, the difference is 1, because each time we're incrementing by 1. So the difference over here is going to be equal to 1. So n minus 1 into 1 is nothing else but n minus 1. So this all can just get simplified down to n minus 1. So now the equation that we end up having is Sn equals n by 2 into n minus 1. Now the question is, what exactly do we do with this equation and how can we use it uh, to solve this question? But let's just see how we can do that. Okay, so this is the equation that we have and this is the example we were looking at. 0, 4 is the range and the numbers are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Now over here, we have all the numbers, okay? There's nothing missing, but we know in our condition there's going to be one number missing. And we know for a fact that only one number is going to be missing no matter what. So in this case, the simple way that we can find out what number is missing, and the uh, numbers that we have are just going to be the nums, right? 
So there's going to be one number missing. Now, the way we find out which number is actually missing, let's just say we have the number 0, 1, 2, 3. In this case, the missing number is 4, pretty simple. And to find that, all we can do is find the sum of all of this and the sum of all of this. And the difference between them is going to tell us which one is missing, okay? So it's pretty simple to understand. And the reason this works is because there's only one number missing. And we also know there's no condition where there's no number that's missing, okay? So let's just see what that looks like in this condition. So what is the n value here? Remember the value of n is the length of this. In this case, the length is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And we want to find the sn, the n value where we are assuming we have all the numbers. So in this case, s5 is equal to 5 by 2 multiplied by 5 minus 1, which is nothing else. We can simplify that, that down to 5 by 2 into 4. And the 2 cancels. This becomes 2. We get 5 into 2, giving us a value of 10. So what this is telling us is this, the sum of the arithmetic series, which has a difference of 1 with a length of 5 elements, is going to give us a sum of 10. And if you want to uh, check that, it's 0 plus 1, 1, 1 plus 2, 3, 3 plus 3, 6, 6 plus 4, 10. Okay, that's what we have. Now the missing sum, now we, we want to find out the sum of the missing elements and we can just do that using the sum operator. So in this case it would just be 0 plus 1 plus 2 which is 3 plus 3 which is 6. So the missing sum is 6. Now the difference between these two is 10 minus 6 which equals to 4. And 4 is the number that is missing and that is what we're going to end up outputting. So hopefully you understand how this is working. And in this case, as you can see, we're not using any extra data structure. So this is all happening in big O of one space. And the time complexity is going to be big O of n. And the only thing that we're doing is we're finding the sum of the missing numbers over here. So now let's just see how this looks like in code. And it's pretty easy once you understand what's going on. So the first thing that we want to do is we want to find out the sum where all the elements are there, right? So let's just call this sum underscore. And what is this value going to be? Now the formula we had, let me just write it down somewhere. So it was n by 2 into n minus 1. So this is the same formula that we want to implement. So just to make it simple, uh, let's just store the value of n over here. And what is going to be the value of n? So remember, if you find the length of nums, you get this value of n, right? So we know that we know what the ending of the range is going to be. So to that, we're going to add 1 because in this case, according to this definition, n is the number of elements we have. So it's just going to be the length of nums plus 1, okay? So all we have left to do now, I'll just copy this over actually, uh, it's just going to paste this and it's going to be n by 2 into n minus 1. That is going to be the sum that we're actually looking for with all of the elements. And now to find the missing element, it's just going to be the sum of the numbers we have minus, or sorry, it should be this sum over here, subtracted by the sum of all the numbers we currently have. And the reason we're doing this first is because this over here is going to be greater. And this should be the correct answer. All right, so sorry, uh, one small thing that we need to do is this actually is outputting a floating point value. So instead, we want to convert it to an integer. So this should get accepted. And I'm not going to do the code in Java because it's essentially the same thing. So yeah, so thanks a lot for watching guys and hopefully this video did help you out.